Hello there, hello there, a quick word. Do not be too quick to say amen and hallelujah to anything. But that's good. Yes, it's good. But it could also be bad. What do you mean? What I mean is, we live in a time where the word of God is poured out in the earth realm indeed. But equally so, in order to counteract or try to counteract whatever God is doing, the enemy has flooded the earth realm with deception. Paul said, not everyone minister the word of God with a rightful motive. Some minister the word of God with a wrongful motive. I've seen instances where ministers of the gospel, they would be giving you true gospel. But whilst people are busy saying amen and hallelujah, they smartly slip in some false doctrine. Equally, I've seen instances where a brother, a sister, or a minister has been rebuked for a wrong by the wisdom of God. And instead of humbling themselves as they should, the Bible says we must be easily entreated. You know what they do? They dip into their arsenal of knowledge. And if they have a podium, they use ambiguity talking about, oh, this one is fighting against me and that one is trying to hold me down. Whilst it is a fact that indeed, we are embroiled in a perpetual spiritual warfare. On the flip side, some of these ministers, if they are in a spirit of rebellion, they will use that very fact to witchcraft you into siding with their rebellion. Because in such instances, nobody is fighting against them. Somebody gave them the truths of God and they feel some type of way about it and do not want to subject themselves to the truths of God. And so they come out with ambiguous statements. But watch this. The word of God says in Ecclesiastes 5 verse 1. Keep your feet when the, you enter the house of God. Be more swift to hear. St. James 19 verse 1 reiterates this point by saying be swift to hear and slow to speak. We need to listen more attentively so that we can understand and ask the Lord for discernment. And watch this. God is not the author of confusion. If you're in a Holy Ghost meeting and the Spirit of the Lord manifests in a mystery, quiet yourselves and just worship God in your spirit. Because after that first wave of mystery manifestation, the Spirit of the Lord will manifest once again and give clarity. So if the minister at first starts out with or in ambiguity, after a while, the minister must bring forth clarity. What is the belly of this? What is the genesis of this that you're bringing forth? What exactly are you talking about? Even if, for wisdom's sake, the minister might not be able to say exactly who is fighting against them, if they can identify the person. But nonetheless, at the end of it all, there must be proper clarity where this is coming from. If you cannot tell me where this is coming from, I am not saying amen. Because I could be giving assent to rebellion. 